Yo, what's going on everyone? Woo, we are doing the ultimate jig rides from Dobbins. A couple of you guys messaged me, a bunch of you guys posted some other posts I made. So I'm gonna do the ultimate jig rides that I own, that I think are the ultimate jig rides. I've had a couple other ones um, in this line, in, in the Dobbins lineup, but in my opinion, this is the ultimate jig ride that they offer. And we're gonna start off with the DX 746 HP. This is my meat potatoes, big jig, deep grass, flipping heavy cover, you know, flipping like fork down here, up, you know, north throwing in some deep grass. This is a DX 746 HP. Steez A, 7 one to one ZPI handle, 25 pound Seaguar Abrazex. This is my three quarter to one and a quarter ounce jigs. This one's got a 7 eighths Pro Mega on there right now. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome powerful rod. Nice tip to it, so you can still flip and skip and kind of do that kind of stuff with a little bit lighter jig. Um, but it's got an absolute monster of a backbone. Wonderful ride to throw. I wish they would make this in an ecstasy. I wish they'd make an ecstasy 756 because the ecstasy is about an ounce lighter than the DX is. So it's just kind of nice to have a little bit lighter ride when you're flipping an ounce all day. This is just the coolest ride. I mean, they're great rides. The DX series is an awesome ride. But when they came out with the ecstasies, I pretty much eliminated all my DX jig rods. Um, not to say the DX745 isn't a great ride, which it is, but my other rods that I've got in the lineup, uh, I've just been using since they've come out. So this is the DX746 meat stick rod, awesome rod. Next up is gonna be a little bit more finesse style. Um, a little bit lighter jigs, maybe your quarters to your 3 8 5 16 um, This is the Ecstasy 724. Currently, it's got on a uh, little swim bait. This is the 724 Ecstasy, and I have a Steez SV 7 1 to 1 paired with it. ZPI handle, tricked out as well. I work on reels, so I trick out all my reels. Awesome. The Ecstasies are incredible rides. This combo is a feather, super sensitive. Currently throwing that little uh, Biospawn Exo Swim swim bait with the uh, Omega Spartan head, screw lock head. Uh, this is, I think, 15 pound Seaguar Tatsu, 15 or 16 pound. Um, the Ecstasy is awesome for throwing the lighter jigs. I've thrown tubes on this when I'm smallmouth fishing. Um, you know, of course, the little swim baits. I throw a little bit bigger swim baits, a little bit bigger paddle tails on this as well. Finesse wise, I mean, bottom dragging the Ecstasy is an incredible ride. They're very sleek, clean looking, um, not too showy. Blends in well with the dial reels that I have, so it's kind of nice. Um, but this is a great finesse, lighter setup. This is probably my only like real finesse, you know, finesse jig ride i mean i've got 702s and stuff like that but you know throwing that three eighths and a quarter this is what i would use for sure and then my uh my throwing the tubes as well uh just a great ride this is the first you know a little bit shorter rides i've got a, another short ride coming up so yes i cover all my stuff next up is going to be The Ecstasy 755. This is my main, just, just my main jig rod. This is the jig rod I use probably 90% of the time. Um, this is a Steez Limited 8 1 to 1 gear ratio, 25 pound Seaguar Brazex. This is my half ounce flipping jig rod. This is my half dragging a football, throwing uh, three quarter ounce footballs. This 755 will pretty much do it all. Texas rigs, you can frog with it if you really want to. Um, sensitivity wise, this is a great ride. I used to own a bunch of DX745s, 
But as soon as I got these in my hand from Gary, I sold my 745s. I got these. Uh, these are an inch longer and an ounce lighter. So that's pretty impressive for a seven foot five ride. But this is pretty much my skipping in close, out far. It doesn't matter. This is a great all round stick. Um, I'm a jig freak, so I, I throw a lot of different jigs. So I usually have multiple different styles of jigs tied up. So I don't have to keep retying and blowing through that line. Next up is another Ecstasy. This is going to be the Ecstasy 755 as well. This is throwing a half and three quarter ounce football jig out deep, deep. I mean, I'm throwing these in probably 25 or 30 or 40 foot of water in cover around rock. Um, the Ecstasy excels just in sensitivity wise. This is a Steez 8 1 to 1 gear ratio as well. Steez Limited. 20 pound line um, throwing football jigs this is probably the most I'd go with typically I'm like 16 and 17 pound line for throwing footballs but I like the 755 for making a little bit longer cast it's a little bit easier to, to sweep the line and, and pull the line on a little bit lighter hook um, so that length helps as well this has got a ZPI tune spool um, just an awesome awesome ride again 755 can double as a lot of different styles, so I keep a few of them in the boat. Next up is pretty much my like in close combat jig skipping style ride. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier on that, even though the 755 is fine. This is the Ecstasy 725. Again, with another Daiwa Steez Limited RCS 90 handle, 25-pound um, Cigar Abrazex. I absolutely love this line. It has been an absolute beast goat rope jig line to use the last five or six or seven years. Um, I'm throwing a an Omega half flip jig. It's in the Missouri Craw. If you can see that. Yes, I'm hiding the trailer. Um... That's coming out soon from somebody. But this is my enclosed skipping docks, skipping lay downs, skipping overhangs, a lot of stuff we fish here. Trees are, I mean, we got a lot of tornadoes here, a lot of wind, so a lot of trees are overhanging. Um, so the trees will be overhanging, but the bass will be underneath the trees. So it's kind of nice where you can just kind of just skip underneath them. This ride just makes it a little bit easier because it's a little bit shorter. But this, uh, another great combo to use. I'll probably use this the next couple of days if I'm fishing docks. So this is the Ecstasy 725 Ultimate Jig Ride. And I've got one more that's technically, it's not in production. It's just an old prototype. Uh, but there's a DX of this ride or the, the length and style of it. Um, and it is the, this is a 794. The DX that I had was a 784 and that was an awesome, awesome, awesome football jig ride. Really long ride to make really long cast, really long to set up on long fish. They're biting it at your longest cast and you know, at a long cast. Um, great ride. This is pretty much the equivalent to an ecstasy now. Um, just different materials and stuff, different manufacturing materials. But yeah, that 784 I used to have, and then I sold it because I had one of these. So this is the ultimate, I would say, deep water football jig. Um, I know a lot of guys that spoon with it too. You can throw spoons on it. Um, uh, Carolina rigs, you probably throw a Carolina rig on this, no problem as well. So yeah, this is the 794, but yeah, you would look at the DX784. Since they don't make that long of a ride yet in the Ecstasy series. Uh, maybe soon. Maybe. I don't know. But those are the ultimate jig rides. And I'm getting tangled up. Ultimate jig rides. Ecstasies. DX. All incredible rides. Tons of power. Tons of sensitivity. So there you go, guys. Smash that thumbs up. Notification bell. 
subscribe, share it. Uh, the channel's going up, so just trying to get some more videos to you guys. And I hope you guys have a good one and stay safe.